Matt here, Atlas Precision Consulting. In today's video, we're gonna cover the basic side of mass update. Um, there are two different ways to do it. There's basic and then there's Excel query. Uh, we're currently on the basic screen here for item maintenance, mass update. Um, on the top here are your action items. You can send your changes, which is basically saving your changes. You can also schedule those to run a later. Uh, preview will just run your filter criteria and or run changes if you have uh, values set to change. Um, clear obviously clears it and close it will close your window. Job status will give you a look back at any that you have previously run. It'll give you the status on them and it will give you the breakdown uh, if they've passed or failed. Um, down below here, we have the actual results from our filter criteria, which we've covered the criteria in another video. Also to the left, we have the saved templates, which was covered in that same video. Um, I, I've already run this preview. That's why I have some results down here. And essentially I'm just looking for any item that contains a BND and then the replenishment method is set to up to. Now you'll notice that there's only two tabs of data down here. And the reason being is item ID lives on the general tab uh, in item maintenance and the replenishment method lives on the replenishment tab. All of these tabs down here at the bottom are the same tabs that live in actual item maintenance screen. Um, now, if you picked something, let, let's, let's add, we're gonna add standard cost in here. And so when I hit plus to add another one, you'll notice that blue line, that's that general tab we were looking at. If you keep scrolling, you'll notice the blue changes as, oh, accessory items, uh, you know, and so on and so on. And so essentially if I add a criteria from any other tab, that tab and everything in it will become available. So I'm gonna search in here, I'm gonna search cost and I'm gonna look for the standard cost. Um, which is right here. So I'm clicking on standard cost. Now I didn't have to search anything yet. And you can see that it has now added a cost tab. Now, if I click this, it'll take a second. It's gonna go query. Now you can see it's showing me all the possible columns that are in that tab. Even though I haven't searched for any of those, it's just kind of a way to narrow down the information you're looking for. Uh, if I remove cost, and I have no cost or, or anything from that cost tab, you'll notice the tab disappears down at the bottom and I just have general and replenishment. Um, so that, that's just the basic layout of the screen. Um, we'll get into some more functionality here soon. If you guys have questions about mass update or anything else, put a comment down below. Make sure you like and subscribe. And as always, Atlas is here for your P21 needs.